Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is the Little Bean and Me podcast channel. Uh, my name is Kayleen and I'm your host. And today we're back at it again uh, with another podcast. Um, today I'm going to be talking about some recent dye work that I've been doing, some other projects that I've been working on, which you can see back there, um, and some shop update news and the like. So if you're interested to hear about what I've been dying and what I've been getting up to, just stay right here, grab a grab a little drink, uh, grab a little snack, and we'll just get on rolling. All right, so for those of you who are new here, welcome. I'm glad you found my channel. I hope you really enjoy the content here. I really try to bring some inspiration and, you know, some positivity into the yarn community. And I am found on social media. I've just recently changed my social media, so please take a look here at the bottom of the screen. I've updated it for you. Anywhere you can find me, you will find me as Little Bean Loves Yarn. Oh. Uh, yes, so I've updated all of my socials, so Instagram, Facebook, and my website are all Little Bean Loves Yarn, and you can always find my hand-dyed yarns at uh, littlebeanlovesyarn.com. So if you are not following me on Instagram, uh, please do. It is where I post the most often. By far, if you're looking to see what's going on in my dye pots, what's going on in my personal life, you can find those little snippets um, on my Instagram. So just a little information there for you. And so without any further ado, let us get into what I've been doing this week. So as some of you may know, Again, if you're following me on other social media, you'll know that yesterday, which was Wednesday, August 1st, was my birthday. I am 34 years young and just kind of rolling along, you know, um, hitting that middle age kind of stride, <laughs> you know, where you're just kind of like, all right, I think I've got a handle on my life a little bit. Um, so I just celebrated yesterday with my husband and I did post a picture up on Instagram of us dying together because we did die together yesterday. Um, I don't know how much I'm going to show you of what Tyler died because we're going to adjust a couple of colorways, but um, he died up four colorways, all um, inspired by World of Warcraft, uh, specifically the Hearthstone um, depictions of these characters. Um, so he did three Orcish war chiefs and... And win win, and do win win win, and do win win, um, who's a humanoid. So, uh, which was really fun. So I got to do that yesterday, and that's exactly what I wanted to do, you know. So um, I was very happy about that. So as you can see on my table, I have several <laughs> colors here. Some that are new. Some I might have shown you, maybe not. Um, some wool wash that I'll show you and then also the bags that I have in my shop they are now back in stock so if you're interested in those uh, definitely get a get a little bag it's it's beautiful message and a very large bag enough to hold several small project bags um, especially if you're traveling or you like to tote around several projects at once it's really the perfect size so anyway so enough shameless plugging um, I do want to show you what I've been dying uh, and first I want to show you the collaboration that I did with Anna over at Silent Knits um, she is a knitwear designer and she designed the sea shanty shawl with these two colors in mind. So these are my colors Padfoot and the Black Lake and I'll show you a picture of the shawl here. Uh, the sample right now is down at Marblehead Knits so if you're local to me and you want to see the sample you can come see it. It's down there. It's beautiful, soft, lofty, drapey, lovely. I love it. Um, she's so talented. So I did dye up some kits with some of my more popular colorways. So this is Padfoot in the Black Lake. And we have Loyalty, which is um, gray and black and yellow speckles with Helga for Hufflepuff. And then we have um, Courage and Godric for Gryffindor. So I am out of Cunning <laughs> and Salazar for the third house. I didn't do, this isn't necessarily a house colorway, but I did have house colorways up for the remainder. I do plan to dye some more tonals to go with some of my speckled colorways, but you can always pair them up. So if you see a speckled colorway in my shop that you really like and you want to pair it with a tonal, the Sea Shanty Wrap is really um, a great pattern. It's very beginner friendly. I don't think there's a single pearl in this pattern. 
um, and it's worked along the bias. So it's a rectangular shawl that starts at the corner, gets larger, and then continues, and then gets smaller. So it's a really simple knit. It's it's It seems like it's a really long pattern. She does have it written out line by line, but generally it's a pretty easy going pattern. Um, some customers of mine have put together really awesome combinations. I'll put a picture here. Um, Linda put together this combination which was the Queen of Hearts colorway and an aubergine tonal, so a nice dark deep purple. It's coming out beautifully. Um, and then a friend of mine, Elizabeth, she's local to me, uh, she put together Molly Weasley with a gray tonal and another customer also just put that together as well as a duo. Sorry for the road noise, but it's too nice in here not to film in here. Um, I do have some pre-orders. They're still up. I think I'm just going to end up leaving them up until Saturday for the Halloween, Halloween advent calendar. If you have not heard, I am putting together 13 days of Halloween. Um, it is going to be an advent style calendar where each day you're opening a new yarn um, inspired by a Halloween slash horror movie. Um, counting down the 13 days until Halloween, which is my favorite holiday, and I just wanted to get it out there that it is still up and active, and I think I will definitely leave it up until um, Saturday. So the yarn, it's, it's 600 total grams, so it's kind of like a serial progression where you start with 20 gram skeins and then you have some 50 gram skeins and then the final day is a one, full 100 gram skein of yarn and it is 600 total grams of yarn plus extras. So there are going to be some special, not food related um, extras that are going to be in the bags for you that are exclusive to the bags, bags, boxes, you know, the, 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 the calendar <laughs> that are going to be exclusive to the calendar um, that I'm creating and that also I have some other local artists creating with me. Um, so I'm very excited for those things to come out to you. So if you're interested in that, definitely go check it out. It's in the shop from now until Saturday and then I'm going to be taking the listing down so that I can start dyeing. I have all the colorways planned. I have every single day planned. I have how I'm going to package it getting set up right now so I just can't wait to execute it all. I've been watching horror movies and trying to get into the Halloween spirit which is my favorite thing. I love horror and horror comedy and you know cult classics and Halloween classics like you know Hocus Pocus. It's Hocus Pocus is 25th year. It's a really big year for that movie so um 25? 25. Oh my goodness. Okay so <laughs> I think it's 25 years. Anyway, so I have that. It's in the works. If you want it, go get it. It's in the shop. Uh, links are in the, the all the places up here in this corner and down in the description box. Um, um, so then let's get into what I dyed yesterday. So Tyler and I dyed alongside each other. He took the pan on the right and I took the pan on the left. And I had a concept that I really wanted to run with. Um, it's inspired by this bag and by my my personal journey and my personal thoughts about depression and about the things that I've gone through over the last year. And I've had a really rough few weeks uh, emotion-wise, if you care to know, but um, you know, things like this, they come in cycles and waves and you just kind of have to work through it and, you know, try and get a leg up on it so that it's not so bad next time it happens. And so for me, I really wanted to create a colorway line that was affirming and was positive, that wasn't inspired by some fandom, even though I love dying uh, for fandoms. But this was really personal to me, as this bag is also very personal to me, but I think it's a message that we all can resonate with. And it is bringing positivity into our lives in any way that we can. And even though it's weird and it sounds funny, but doing something like this where I'm speaking aloud, even though I'm, I'm speaking to you and I feel like I'm speaking to you, but I really am sitting here with my camera, but just saying things aloud like, I can do this, or I am strong, I am beautiful, I am worthy, I am loved, I am smart, I am capable. These affirmations are so important because we need to hear them. And if we're not hearing them from other people or getting reinforcement from other people, it's important that we say these things to ourselves and try and put it into our everyday life practice. So I really wanted to put that into yarn. Um, 
not only to continue to spread a positive message in the knitting community, but also for my own therapeutic needs. Is that selfish? I hope not. <laughs> but to dye these up and to feel inspired by affirming messages and by, you know, affirming to myself, like, yes, I'm capable. I'm worthy of love. I am loved. I am smart. I am funny. I am capable. You know, repeating these things over and over to myself, you know, I really wanted to like get some of that out and what I see in my head to get it out onto yarn. And so I wanted to create this line so that if you're in need of an affirmation and you, you know, you feel silly saying it out loud, maybe you can knit something with a yarn that's inspired and, and created in that light. So if you're feeling very alone or feeling very sad and you put on your socks or your shawl that you made with the yarn, I loved then I feel like it's a way for me to say those things to you through my art and through what I'm doing here. And that if it brings you up and makes you feel good, then that I've succeeded. So I really wanted to share those things with you and I wanted to share the colors that I've dyed here inspired by those things. So I'm going to show them to you now. Um, as with all emotional things in this world, you know, every person is different. and. For me, I, I was dying things that I really wanted to hear and that I wanted to affirm to myself, especially during times where I wasn't feeling so great. And so I started pulling color ideas for these colorways. What does it mean to be fierce? What does it mean to be beautiful? What does it mean to me to be smart or strong or funny or worthy or loved? And so I really wanted to pull those things together. So I have a set of five colors here. Let me assemble them in some order here. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Okay, see if I can hold them. Here's the true test, holding them up at the same time. So here are the five colors. So starting here, we have I am fierce, I am beautiful, I am smart, I am worthy, and I am loved. And I wanted to have a tying tone through them, and I chose this really warm and happy yellow. Um, I wanted it to be in each colorway and I wanted it to tie them all together because truly when we are saying those things to ourselves, we are trying to bring happiness and warmth and love into our hearts and our minds and our whole life. And um, I really wanted that color to shine through each of these colorways. And so here's the first color. This is I am fierce. And this has a really beautiful red-orange with yellow speckles. And I did tie in some darker brown, uh, I think it's a maroon color or a chestnut color, speckles in there to, sh to have a really um, dynamic and strong palette for this yarn. Um, when I think fierce, I think fire, I think warmth, I think drive and determination. And if you truly do believe you're fierce, you will be fierce. Um, when I think I am fierce, I think of being an advocate for myself and being an advocate for my kids and especially my son, um, that I can stand up and, you know, get what needs to be done to get it done for him and to protect him and to be fierce in that way. So for me, that's what it means. And that is the inspiration I drew from in dyeing this color. So the next color that I dyed in this series was I Am Beautiful. And that is this color here. This is a very simple color. It's three tones. It is a yellow and then two tones of green, um, kind of earthy, uh, a lighter earthy tone and then a deeper, like a moss green. So this is I Am Beautiful. And I wanted this color to speak to... Well, so when I think I am beautiful, I think that I shine from within and that I'm, I'm beautiful just like... How am I going to explain this? You know, from growing from the inside out, and you are beautiful from the inside out. And so I really wanted to take 
an earthy approach to this where it was more green, lush, life, vibrant in that way. Because for me, when I'm it's going to get a little personal. <laughs> Not that this whole thing hasn't been a little bit personal, if I'm being honest. But when I was pregnant with both my kids, I've always had a really hard time with self-esteem and with body image and with my weight and all of these things. And when I was pregnant with them, it was the most beautiful I had ever felt. And so I wanted to breathe life into this color. What does it mean to be to flourish with life, whether it's your garden or your home or your body if you're pregnant or, you know, a beautiful flower or a tree that's growing? You know, I wanted this color to be lush and beautiful. And so that is I am beautiful. That's the story behind it. Then the next color I dyed was I am smart. And so this this color and this is a very deep dark blue it's almost like a steel blue um, an icy an icy aqua and then also this yellow and so this color to me means I'm smart I'm so, I'm so bad at articulating my thought into <laughs> what I did but I did want the yellow in there because it is what ties things together it's your bright ideas for lack of a better <laughs> word um inspiration innovation i'm smart and then the blue is kind of i wanted to draw in like fluid like water where you're dynamic you can shift you can change you can mold to what you need to mold into and what you need to be and what you need to do to accomplish your goal and that's smart that's being smart that's knowing what you need to do how you need to get there and the most efficient way to do it so that is why I chose these colors. Um, this is I am smart. And there are times where I have felt very down on myself, feeling like I'm not capable, that I'm not smart enough, or I don't have the capacity. Uh, after being a mom, I've, <laughs> I don't know if you're not a parent or if you are a parent or you're a new parent, uh, feeling the term mom brain, where you just feel that capacity and you feel like you can't change and you can't you can't get to where you need to be you're always stuck you're always late you're always fumbling around with ideas or you can't get an idea out much like what I'm doing here but um, not feeling smart enough not feeling capable enough feeling drained and so I wanted I am smart to evoke a feeling of fluidity and in innovation and to be you know to be at that point where you don't think you are, but you are, you're very smart and you're capable. And you can do whatever you put your mind to. Okay, the next color I dyed up is I am worthy. And this color is again, yellow, representing um, love and light, kind of tying it together. And then I used a couple of shades of purple here, one that shifts a bit more pink and one that shifts a bit more blue. And I am worthy. Um, <clears throat> I chose purple because, well, purple's normally associated with, you know, things that are luxurious and royalty, and it was a color, historically, that's been associated with those things, and when you think of something extremely luxurious, you think of, you know, purple satin or something very deep and lovely, and I am worthy, to me, means I am, I am worthy to receive these things, whether it's love or whether it's um, material things if you feel like you've earned something you've really earned you know a, a promotion you've you've earned some kind of luxury that you feel like you you're not worthy of having because you don't feel good enough for it uh, for me it's I am worthy to to have a partner in my marriage that is with me a hundred percent of the time that that we can talk things out, that we can be together and work things out together and raise our family together and be best friends and love each other unconditionally. I'm worthy of that reward in my life. And so to me, that's what this color represents. Um, and I just tried to convey that in the yarn as best I can. Um, and then the last one, which I think might be my favorite color, um, 
is I am loved. And so here, this will focus, it is a, a vibrant, almost like a salmon pink with yellow and then a dark uh, espresso brown. And I am loved means a lot to me. Um, that kind of an affirmation to remind myself that even if I am feeling an extreme level of depression or if I am feeling alone, knowing that I am loved by my friends, by my family, that all I have to do is reach out and they will support me and be with me and try and help me through whatever I am going through, that you're you're really not alone. And so I brought in the colors. I wanted to bring in obviously the yellow because of the whole tying factor between all of these colors. The pink, not just a traditional pink, but a bit more of a vibrant salmon color um, as representative of love and also to warm it up and deepen it with the brown. Um, that love can be deep and abiding and unconditional. And even if you don't feel like you are loved, know that you really are. You're valuable, you are worthwhile, and you are loved. And so that's what I wanted this colorway to represent. A deep and abiding love, because you are. Okay. <clears throat> so that is that. <laughs> um, I hope that you all enjoyed the tour of that little yarn collection. I am going to put it out on Saturday at 1 o'clock. I think I'm going to take some of these skeins and break them into 50 gram skeins um, so that if you want one of each color and you don't need a full 100 grams of every color that you can get them all if you want them. Um, for me, I definitely want to take a couple of these and put them into a shawl or something that I can wrap myself in to make myself feel good if I'm not feeling that great. So that's about it. <laughs> um, and then the last thing that I've been working on, I introduced in the last podcast that I filmed, um, but it is the wool soap. On a lighter note, let's get clean. Wool, yes, okay. Um, the wool soap that I have been working on. So this is the bar of soap. It's been curing now for several weeks. It's nice and firm and hard and, you know, there's no... There's really no smell to it. It just smells like the oils that were used to make it. It kind of smells a little bit like lanolin because there's so much lanolin in it. Um, but this is a little packaging. So these are two and a half ounces a piece. Actually, they're mo most of them are more than two and a half ounces. But um, here's the packaging. And then here's the back of the package. And so it just has here I, I wrote on I forgot to put it on the label itself so I made sure I wrote the ounces here some directions for the wool wash and then the ingredients of the wool wash so it's just olive oil coconut oil lanolin and castor seed oil um, made into soap <laughs> so um, it's unscented and yes it does have the lanolin so if you're not into lanolin um, this might not be for you but I really love it. I've been using it on my yarn and on my woolens. So yeah, I thought this was really cute, kind of simple packaging and I spent some time yesterday uh, packaging these things up for you. So these will also be in the shop on Saturday and I hope that you guys enjoy it and if you'd like to see me make these again, I would love to. It was really fun. Alright, so <laughs> anyway, that is really about everything that I have. Again, um, if you're looking for me on social media, definitely uh, come find me. I am now Little Bean Loves Yarn. All the places that you can find me, except on Ravelry, I think I'm still Cam Weaver on Ravelry. I haven't changed that, but that's my personal profile. But you can find my yarn there, it's Little Bean Loves Yarn. My shop is Little Bean Loves Yarn, on Facebook is Little Bean Loves Yarn, and on Instagram is Little Bean Loves Yarn. Um, if you liked this video, please do give it a like. If you didn't, you can give it a thumbs down if you, if you so choose. And if you want to and you're not already, you can subscribe to this YouTube channel. It's free. 
I try and produce content at least once a month for you. Um, and make sure when you subscribe to hit the bell knife the bell notification icon um, so that you get notified every time I upload a new video or if I go live, which I do occasionally when I don't have time to film. So I hope you guys have a wonderful week. Enjoy your weekend and I will see you in my next video. Bye!